Okay, we have to find the Laplace transform of this. Uh, this is a nice problem because it involves three different formulas. So let's go through it and we'll talk about the, I guess, the tricks to memorize the formulas. So let's break it up. It's the Laplace transform of cosine 4t minus the Laplace of sine 7t plus the Laplace of e to the negative t. All right, so the trick, the way I do it, the way I memorize this is uh, whenever you have the cosine, it has the variable in the numerator. And whenever you have a sine, it has the k in the numerator. So um, here, you'll have the s because it's the cosine. So the cosine has the s. That's how I memorize it. Cosine has the s. And then on the bottom, it's just s squared plus k squared. So 4 squared. k is 4. Right. And you'll see what I mean now when we do this one. The sine has the number. So it's 7 over s squared plus 7 squared. So you see the difference. Cosine has the s. Right. Let me write that down. Cosine has the s just just a cheap memory trick uh, to, to get it done and sine doesn't have the s so it has the number uh, plus now for this here it's always 1 over s minus whatever number is here so there's a negative 1 here so negative 1 okay let's finish this is s over s squared plus 16 minus 7 over s squared plus 49 plus 1 over s plus 1. Let's go over it one more time just in case it was hazy. That was a lot of formulas without writing them down. So cosine has the s, and on the bottom you always have s squared plus, in this case, 4 squared. Sine has the number, so, and then s squared plus 7 squared. And then here, the formula for this one, I'll write it down, the Laplace of e to the a t, that's 1 over s minus a. So here a was negative 1, so it's s plus 1, right? So I hope that helps someone out there.